here with the boy. Someone um, decided to ruin my chair. Okay, it's back. Alright, I think today what we'll do is uh, we'll make a table, I think. That's what we're going to do. Break it out. At least you're still using sparks, right? Yeah, at least I'm still using sparks. It took two of them. Yep, yep. Build it up, buttercup. Yeah, mate, I'll let you look after the fire, right? Yeah, okay. Just don't burn yourself. Hey? <coughs> so today I thought I'd bring out the Rush 24 bag. Each pouch here, I've got um, I've got two two liter GI canteen bottles. Uh, pretty much what was in my Covert 18 is in here now. I'm using the Covert 18 for my Hawaiian trip. Um, so, what do I want to, what do I want to do? I want my saw, where do I put it? And I'm going to attempt to make a bush table. Get over the hatchet. I'll say it once, I'll say it again. Man, great little hatchet. but it's good. Doesn't 
All right. I think you can see where I'm going with this. So I've hammered in four, four verticals and I'm basically going to grab two sticks and make some horizontals this way and one on that side. I'm not going to use cordage. I don't want to waste my cordage. Um, I've got duct tape. I'm going to use duct tape. Why not? I've got heaps of it. I'll hold it any way you want. Good old duct tape. Alright, got the base is kind of down of our bush table. Probably won't be the flattest thing in the world, but uh, let me uh, let me do something right now to Alright. Yeah. One bush bench <laughs> with a uh, modern twist thing, duct tape. But hey, I think that's pretty level, so I'm gonna use the uh, jet ball to cook up some quick water so we can Welcome to my bush kitchen, where this tree is in my way. Oh, you cut it down. Oh, pretty, that's pretty flat, eh? So, what I'm going to do is, I'm get this pot, boil up some water. I didn't like that when that was on, but it's alright. Mixing it up, chicken and beef. Chicken and beef mixed together, yum. This is chicken and beef. Mm hmm. You like it? Mm hmm. Alright, so pretty much the bush chair and the bush table were made by the Buck Folding Store, so, that saw, 
in the Gerber Bear Grylls hatchet. That's it, it's all netted. Here the hatchet has, it's still, it's still pretty sharp, but I reckon it could do with a... With right, a so up. basically uh, what I've done today is I've, I've pretty much brought my sharpening system that I use at home and pretty much converted it to a field sharpener to put in my pack. Uh, the diamond plate here is a 650 grit plate. Uh, part of the Warthog um, sharpening system um, sold by Kizla Knife Store and then on the other side I've got some leather that I've have coated with Brasso uh, metal polisher uh, which is worn off so I need to put another coat of Brasso on there but pretty much it's my sharpening system stropping and uh, yeah I've got to the point with sharpening my blades now that I don't need you know the the connection to get the precise angle, I can just kind of freehand it, um, and I'm doing a decent job. If I don't say myself, uh, don't say so myself. In regards to getting my blades pretty much hair shaving sharp, so I'm just going to touch up this Gerber um, hatchet. And I can I can feel when it's grabbing. Now, I'm not applying too much force, I'm just probably letting the weight of the, uh, the hatchet do the job. If you can hear that, you know, that's, that means it's uh, really grabbing at the correct angle there and I can feel the a bit of resistance. Alright, the Ranger came around, he's alright. He's the same Ranger that I see all the time when I used to come here. But he was complaining last time uh, some guys made a big mess here. And I said, mate, don't worry, I'll clean up after myself. I mean, it's spotless from me yesterday, so it's going to be the same thing. So he's pretty cool. Alright, so the Ranger come around again. Um, basically, what he wants is uh, anything I make like this, he wants me to kind of put away. He doesn't want people coming around and thinking this is a, a permanent camp spot. Um, I've been here quite a few times and you know I let him know that I do YouTube videos and stuff like that so he doesn't mind me coming around doing this or you know Manuel Mackler or you know the fellas that come around here and do this but he would appreciate if I kind of hide this in the back of the bushes to m make sure that like so if someone drives past they go oh there's a campsite let's go there. He'd rather people camp at the designated camp spot. But I'm blessed. He doesn't mind me camping here, so that's good. It just basically means every time I come, I've got to reset up my stuff, which is a pain in the butt. But, hey, I'm going to respect what to the go say. And uh, leave no trace is what Ranger Joel says. So I'm going to pretty much try to hide everything. So I can come back, now let me do that mate, I can come back and reutilize this instead of building it again. So I'll just grab it. Wait, is that the thing I use? Yeah. Did I get that on camera? <laughs>